lesson 1.6 into the wild this lesson is divided into two parts the part one is lost in the jungle in this part the writer Kiran Purandare has narrated the thrilling experience how he was lost in the jungle of Umbarzara and somehow he could reach to the village Pitezari where he was staying temporarily. In the second part, the work of Shaj Jung, the wildlife photographer, is described. It is also very interesting. Part 2, tracking the panther of Nagar Hole. Now this Nagar Hole is the area of jungle the safe jungle okay so let us start for part two Shaj Jung is a wildlife photographer cinematographer big cat tracker man animal conflict resolution seeker and lodge owner all rolled into one now in the clip you can see Shaj Jung he is not old one he is a young fellow and a versatile personality he is a wildlife photographer at the same time cinematographer means he can even create cinema or wildlife creatures or wildlife he is big cat tracker also. He tracks big cat. Cat, the feline family, cat family, tigers, okay, lions, all these beasts, ferocious beasts. So he is big cat tracker also. Man animal conflict resolution seeker. This is very positive trait in this man that there has always been man and animal conflict when man encroaches the region especially the forest area reserved for the animals animals find their prey means actually their space is going on decreasing every year so for getting their prey for getting their food they enter into the human habitation okay actually that is not human habitation man encroached in their land and therefore these animals come in the area which is used by the men for their residence purposes naturally because these animals are coming in the in their area in their living area okay these human beings are killing tigers big cats panthers right and that is the conflict even that is true for elephants also so he is doing very nice task man animal conflict resolution he is find resolution he is find some solution over that how this conflict will end okay how the animals as well as men can live peacefully so he is man animal conflict resolution seeker at the same time he is lodge owner also okay he this is his profession he is the owner of a lodge so this is a versatile personality shaj jung when he is away from the jungles of nagar hole officially called the Rajiv Gandhi National Park okay this is the name of the jungle of Nagar hole the Rajiv Gandhi National Park so when he is away from these jungles he is leading photography safaris in Africa or showcasing his work at art galleries in capital cities and speaking to those interested in conserving the planet's riches so when he is not 
in this role of uh, searching the animals and clicking their nice photographs means when he is away away from the jungles what he does he does his uh, uh, work into another nation means in africa he arranges safaris okay and he also showcases the his work his photographs in the art galleries in the capital cities capital cities the cities like mumbai delhi these are the capital cities of the states so he arranges um, his exhibition and speaking all the while he speaks about the importance of conservation of the jungles and the animals these are the planet's riches riches okay wealth animals jungles trees variety of animals and birds these are the riches of the planet or planet earth shaj recalls with great clarity the incident that ultimately leads to his answering the call of the felines over a career dedicated to finance look shaj recalls he remembers with great clarity it is quite distinct in his mind that incident when he turned towards the call of felines he wanted that yes i have to do something for the sake of the felines felines these predators okay all those animals which belong to cat family like tigers so he wanted that he should do something for the sake of these uh, tigers or panthers okay or leopards so he chose this career dedicated to finance okay with this career he also raised finance he says it was somewhere around sunset he tries telling that incident which was responsible for his turning towards his profession what was that incident it was somewhere around sunset it was the time of sunset we were at a junction the deer were calling okay they were shouting he says we went around a blind turn okay there was a blind turn okay uh, in the jungle we went around a blind turn he continues and up ahead on the path was the old leopard they saw old leopard okay you could tell he was past his prime means when they saw the leopard they could feel they could see that his time was over he was no more young and robust now he was no more muscular now he was tending towards his old age the jungle had taken a toll on him and those who are not in their capacity those who lose their strength okay it is very difficult for such creatures to survive in the jungle so other creatures in the jungle attacked him and it could be seen when they saw their body it could be seen that the other animals in the jungle had attacked him he only had three canines okay the canines are very important to tear away the skin or to cut the flesh of the prey okay but he had lost one canine only three canines were there normally these um, have four canines two on up and two down side in, on the lower jaw okay one was lost only three canines he had his eyes were sagging okay drooping okay when a person is very ill very sick okay his eyes are uh, sagging drooping they are not wide open so in this fashion his eyes were also not wide open they were loose close to this leopard was another very young good looking male who was soon to come into his prime now it was the time of fight there was old leopard and beside the old leopard there was very young 
good looking male was standing just by the side of this old leper it was like looking at the past and the present on one side there was past means old leper and to the other side there was a young good looking means the present present king of that area they were standing near it was clear that there was going to be a fight from the gestures of two panthers it was clear that they were bound to fight severely unfortunately the sun was setting and we had to leave okay because it was getting dark and in the dark they couldn't see they couldn't witness the forthcoming fight so they had to go back but the next morning i went back to the spot okay the means shah's jung is telling this the next morning he went there on the spot where these two leopards were standing sitting on a high rock was that young leopard they saw that on the high rock there was a young leopard blood was dripping from a gash across his face okay on the face there was a deep wound deep cut and from the that deep wound the blood was dripping down he sat there like he was king of the jungle okay with that pride he was sitting there i knew right then that he had taken or that it was the beginning of a new journey for him and for me the uh narrator means here the narrator is shaj jung he tells that he understood that he had killed the old leper and now he was the king of that area it was his new journey that young leper's new journey and this was the new journey for shaj jung also because this side this spectacle turned him towards wildlife photographs of that leper the victor the victor means the one who has won photographers of that leper the victor scar face as shah's named it not only made shah's famous among india's wildlife community but also led to shah's enviable reputation as a chronicler of the wild okay means he shoot uh he clicked the photographs of the leopard the new the young leopard and he named that leopard as scarface why scarface because there was a deep scar on his face therefore the name became scarface this photographs of these photographs of this new leopard scarface made him famous throughout the wildlife community okay and this incidents made him a reputed chronicler of wild what is chronicler means one who can chronicle one who can tell the details of what has happened okay so he was the one who could narrate the stories the happenings uh in the the things in the wildlife through my journey of photographing scarface i have discovered other leopards his mates and discovered his nemesis tigers he says shah shah jung says when he started his journey as a photographer he started photographing first scarface along with scarface his the other leopards also which were present in the jungle his mates also okay the female leopards also and other nemesis like tigers and others okay he started uh, detailing all these creatures <clears throat> i also discovered the current protagonist of my work i also discovered means when he started his journey 
he also discovered the current protagonist means now the protagonist the hero of the of his work is saya while tracking scarface actually he was tracking scarface the activities of the scarface when he was tracking the activities of scarface at the same time he came across saya this is the world's first black panther what is the speciality of saya the saya is the name given by shaj jung to the panther the world's first panther okay you can see uh, in the clip you can see i have i have given uh, the picture of saya there this is the world's first black panther the behavior of which is being documented so intimately on camera by tracking its movements okay um, i have also given you the documentary on shaz jung so before you start this first watch that documentary along with that documentary i am also giving you the documentary on especially this black panther saya i would suggest that you should go or you should watch that documentary of some 5 minutes some 3 4 minutes only okay it is documented as if saya is telling its story means that black panther is telling its own story okay in that fashion the documentary is there you must watch it i shall definitely post that um, documentary so far all the research on the animal has been done through camera traps through many months of toil shaz has managed to collect precious footage including that of the animal mating to piece together means means to create all those things joining one another piece together the incredible landscape of a black panther's life especially shah's work is really very special for saya saya scarface and pardus this name pardus pardus was that leopard that lost to scarface okay the old leopard which has been mentioned over here that is pardus saya scarface and pardus the leopard that lost to scarface have also laid shaz down a different path of discovery these three two leopards and this panther okay now there is not much difference in panther and leopards okay i'm not going to uh, tell you in details about the difference okay so these are you can say the, the leopards learning about them and the loss of their habitat habitat living place the place of their staying they their living learning about them and the loss of their habitat has led shaz to create the buffer conflict resolution trust of india in short it is called as bcrti okay so he created this this uh, institution which institution buffer conflict resolution trust of india it's an agency that educates villagers who live on the fringe of the forest on the importance of conservation okay the this is specially this agency is specially made for those villagers who time and again come across these wild animals we are in the heart of the man animal conflict zone explains shaz he explains that this conflict between man and animal the you can see in the picture that the there is um, elephant which is killed in the first picture just below that the tiger is killed who has killed um these animals surely this is the business of man he has killed possibly they thought that these animals had tormented them the fact is this that human beings encroach their land okay whatever the reason but the conflict is there and shahs wanted to put an end to this conflict there is no specific buffer zone here around nagarhol buffer zone is not present there 
the core area means the innermost area of the forest ends where the fields begin the core area and in the core area you can find the fields means the people are farming there now look how close these wild animals and uh, people are in dry season elephant and wild boar okay uh, their incursions into the field their their attacks into the field are very common okay the the herd of elephants they come and spoil the whole crops the same is true with these wild boars also they also spoil the crop and it is a problem for the people living on the edge of the forest older leopards like pardus who have lost territory in the forest often carry away live stock from the villagers this is one more problem that the animals like leopards especially the leopards like pardus who became old now there is no place for such old leopards into the jungles so they have to come to they, they attack the villages and take whatever the live stock there is they can be sheep they can be cows buffaloes okay they attack and kill them this happens this creates resentment among locals okay this angers the people living there towards the animals on occasions leading to unpleasant situation so the unpleasant situations the bad or sad situations happen and the two photographs i have given uh, in the right side okay they tell us the unpleasant situations they kill means the tigers are killed the leopards are killed elephants are killed by people and shah jung wants uh, to stop these uh, killings putting tourist currency to good use under the bcrti umbrella shahs provides locals with vocational training with the aim of educating locals on the merits of conservation and to help them benefit from tourist currency now look this is very important now he told the people that we can change this forest area into a tourist place the tourist will flock the such jungles to see the wild animals and with the help of these tourists the locals will get their bread and butter for that shahs provided them the vocational training okay he educated them he told them the merits of conservation why the conservation of forest is important and how what kind of benefits they can give to the locals tourist currency means the money given by tourist and therefore he formed bcrti by bcrti he wanted to stop the conflict between man and animals the visitors at the resort are welcome to volunteer to teach a skill training class of their choice okay these locals they are um, given various kind of skills Okay, for that training classes are arranged. The acquired skills enable locals to find employment with any of the numerous wildlife resorts in the region. If not in the far away city, means for getting employment, they do not have to go to city now. They have uh, their the source of income in the wildlife itself. Okay. so numerous wildlife resorts in these regions are formed and these people are getting employment madegowda is one such local agriculturist who is trained at bcrti okay this man madegowda is there okay in the first documentary we will meet this man madegowda is one such local agriculturist who is trained at bcrti and is now a certified naturalist employed by the bison okay so he is certified naturalist and he is employed by the bison this one more institution in the past he tells in the past i have lost almost 80% of the season's yield of sugarcane to such animals attacks he says i used to hate them but now i have learned how important these animals are 
and the value of protecting them he says look look what he now understood first he had a resentment towards the animals he was angry towards these animals he wanted to kill the animals because these animals attacked his fields and spoiled his crops but now he understood that it is really very important to protect such animals because by protecting animals protecting jungles he even can get the employment i have known the jungles for 35 years i know where the animals are and i realize i can guide visitors and get paid for it okay when we people we the normal civil uh, civilized people we go in the jungle area uh, some forest uh, these trained people are there the safaris are arranged and these people like uh, deve gowda um, i mean Ma made gowda okay the people like made gowda they are there to guide us as a guide we have to pay them and okay and they tell us everything they particularly know where these animals can be found and it is really very uh, fruitful for we people we do not know in the jungle where exactly the animal will be located but they can tell in a way the animals are paying me back he says he realizes that actually he is paid by us but actually who is uh, paying the animals because we go there we as a tourist go into the jungles to see the animals okay so actually who is paying animals are paying the forests have taught me many things he says for instance uh, listening is a sense far more important than sight okay what you cannot see uh, through your eyes you can see through your ears the sound tells the sound give you the visualization so actually we hear by the ears but in the jungle we even can see by the ears listening is a sense far more important than sight you have to switch off your vehicle sit and listen for the forest is constantly communicating through the voices of birds and animals he explains very nice uh, sentence when you go in in the jungle the jungle always constantly communicates wants to tell you something and the sound of the jungle is through birds and animals by the roars of the animals by the shouts of the animals by the chirping of the birds the forest tells many more things to us but what you have to do is this go there switch off your vehicle be silent sit peacefully and listen whole thing you understand there tracking an animal also teaches you life lessons when you go to track the animals you get the life lessons the black panther has taught me patience when shahz jung was tracking saya the black panther okay he that black panther taught me the patience if you see the documentary over that black panther you will come across what ter terrible patience this black panther had okay he waited and waited and waited and won till scarface was there he couldn't do anything but a time came when he won and became the king of that area so the patience he showed was really worthy to note but above all it has taught me to never stop discovering this black panther taught shaj jung never stop discovering discover every day you will find some or the other thing there are just so many amazing experiences to learn and share with the world shaj jung says amazing experience are there when you enter the jungle and feel it and experience it there are number of things that we can feel and experience and number of things we can share with the world outside so this was the lesson have you got it friends